Hi, my name is Tracy Yates. I work for United Space Alliance, and I'm going to take you on a little tour today, let you meet some of our employees and show you what they're up to. My name is Carl Sullivan. I'm a thermal system quality inspector. Today we're bonding uh, two towels around the ET door. Uh, Deborah King and uh, Steve Scheller is going to be assisting me doing that today. Uh, we're just ready. We got the RTV and preparing to install the towel on the ship. So after each mission, you guys go over this vehicle with a fine tooth yeah. comb, right? Yes, we're responsible for inspecting every single towel on the ship. Which is what, about 24,000? Uh, exactly, about 24,000 towels. I have to get my There's our monkey, Fred. <laughs> okay, Terry, tell us what we were just looking at here. Okay, we're looking inside the aft compartment of OV-103 in OPF-3. All of the hot pink, orange, all the protective covers you see inside there are just temporary installations along with the scaffolding so that we don't damage any hardware when we're working inside the orbiter. Hi! Hi. Tell us your uh, name and job title. My name is Melanie Mann. I'm an access control monitor and I've been out here for almost 22 years now. It's a long time. Yeah. Do you like your job? I love my job. I make amazing people. Tell us what's being an access control operator involved. I control everyone that goes into the orbiter, um, their tools, their chemicals, so whatever they take in, it has to go through me and then it'll come back out for me. The other than running heavy equipment, we deliver the crew to the uh, pad on launch day and with the Astro van. So you're an Astro van driver? Yes, ma'am. I think most folks will find that interesting. How long have you been doing that? Uh, about 15 years. And how long have you worked for the space program? 30 years. 30 years. Yes, so, ma'am. Since the beginning, pretty much, of shuttle. Yes, ma'am. I was here for the very first one. Mm -hmm. Seen and every one of them. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, ma'am. Really. And what we do here is we process uh, the entire payload bay area in the horizontal position and uh, get it ready to roll out to the pads. Brian Levan, I work for the MIT Micro Inspection Team weeks, Quality right? Department. And what are you working on right now? We are inspecting the up-firing thrusters for any damage during flight, any debris that might have gotten inside them, cracking, just anything that would cause them not, not to work the next flight. I assume this is standard operating procedure after every flight? This is. We do it every flight. And we, our group took over this, the thrusters and we also control the windows. We inspect the windows also and the main propulsion lines. We use the boroscopes because we can get in places that not too many people can see. So they figured out we'd be the best group to do this job. This is a ET-137 to be used for STS-133. And what do you have to do with the tank? We just, we just coordinate the, uh, get all the planning, coordinate with all the support people at this operation. We have a lot of support people heavy equipment and security to, for the escort going across, so we just have to coordinate and make sure everything's ready for delivery. Coordinate with the Marine Ops guys for delivery. When we come up river, when we offload it, and the bars will have to be moved after this. We have to offload the uh, ship loose material that comes in with the tank, which gets installed during processing. My name is Mike Parrish. I'm the Vehicle Operations Chief on the Space Shuttle Endeavor. So what does that mean? What do you do here? I'm the band director. So I help orchestrate and make sure that all the plans come together. And you've got a vehicle in your bay right now, right? Yeah, we're, um, we're processing STS-134. We're going to roll out September 20th. And we'll be, the um, right now, manifesting the last mission to fly. How do you feel about that? It's sad because we love this vehicle. We love all the people associated with it. And uh, we're very, very proud of this special endeavor. Uh, site test manager, pad leader, circus uh, <laughs> curator. <laughs> How long have you been working for the space program? I've been in space with the space program for 31 years. Wow. This October. So you were here for the beginning of the shuttle program? Yes, ma'am. Were you here for STS-1? Yes, ma'am. For every single one. So, you like the job? I love this job. We're in trade for the world. So how are you feeling about these final three missions? Hate to see it go, but it's been good to us. And right here, we're removing destructively the tiles that uh, need to come off. And part of my job is to not just make sure they do it for the process, but also to make sure they have the right tiles. 
That sounds important. Uh, you hit the piling. So it looks like they're just kind of digging it out. Exactly. That's exactly, we call it crunching it out. Now, tell us exactly what you're doing right now. Well, right now, I just took a call from one of our orbiter test conductors about a hazardous operation that was completed in OPF Bay 3, and I passed along that information to our site safety out in the uh, orbiter processing facility. I'm doing an actual pile repair. I am fixing two little holes that are in the tile when it comes back with a little ding in it. It's, it's repairable, so we actually are going to put a putty repair in it, and I'm baking them right now. How long does that job take? It, uh, it has uh, two bakes. First bake is a 15 minute bake at a certain temperature and the second bake is a higher temperature at 10 minutes. We did two, two bakes at that. How long have you worked for the space program? 19 years. You like your job? I love my job. How do you feel about Discovery? I love Discovery. This is, uh, actually this is my bake. <laughs> it's your favorite? It's my favorite.